All right, what's up guys? And welcome back to our last game for this Cabotops team versus Gold from Twitter. And Gold really brought a good team. I like this a lot actually. Uh, though it's not necessarily that good for me, it actually is a good overall team. So, uh, major props to that. <sighs> now, Tapu Koko is really good, like overall versus this team, but there are a lot of things I need to deal with before I can do anything really. So I'm actually going to lead off with Narsil, my Cabotops. Maybe this is the one game where Cabotops might actually matter. As long as he doesn't have any Scarfer, because Cabotops is immensely powerful versus this whole team. Besides Yurushifu, which, depending on your feet, or actually Yurushifu just walls this Pokemon quite well. And also the goal, good luck, have fun. Damn, we got the red background. Starts with Celestela, so that's not the worst. It's not the best either, but yeah, it's not the worst. Um. I could knock off here. Depending on the set, you know, it could be a lead, lead seed set and whatnot. Um, flip turn seems quite safe. And flip turn did alright. It's hard to subject, you know, what type of variant this is. Cost is kind of right, but Osmoth really. Depending on which variant of um, Celestila this is. Um, lead seeds, right? It is a stallier variant, which usually carry well, really it carries everything, but usually see heavy slam on this. A bit surprised by lead seed, actually. It's gonna recover a lot, by the way. <laughs> so, I need to watch out for something like earthquake, I think. This guy's problematic. Um, Earthquake or Heavy Slam, even Protect. Yeah, I'm switching out to Osmo. Basically, um, Vor Skull can do a lot of damage. And yeah, Earthquake. You see that often enough to consider it. So it's Earthquake, most likely Air Slash. Or Heavy Slam. Um, well, actually, straight on out, like, Blaze Kick does a lot. If you decide to stay in. Yeah, and he does. This is going to do easily over half. Nice. Lead seed. <laughs> so, yeah. Celesteela is kind of tough for me to break. But, basically, like, I want to free switch into Coco. Next place is going to do a lot of damage also, but I don't necessarily want to risk it. Plus, I'm kind of half expecting Protect. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sending in Hyperia Cruise. Basically, I don't know what it wants to do, but I need to speed this up somehow. So let's see, Protect. Nice. So protect, earthquake, lead seed. A lot of annoying stuff, really. So specs, fire blast. Really hope I connect this. Nice. Probably not gonna kill. Ooh, 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 ooh. Buddy. Ah, got him. <laughs> All right. So Volcarona sweep. Here we go. Japanese name. That's. That's the water you sheaf, isn't it? Though that close combat is uh, somewhat annoying. Um, actually, everything it does against me is kind of annoying, isn't it? I'm not sending Costa. Basically, I want him to go for close combat and then force him to go for the water move. Which I can't wall, by the way. Surging strikes. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, we're not gonna live this. Even though I gotta get my water compaction, but with all the crits, I'm not going to, to be able to properly recover this. I might manage to live though, but that might just be barely. Ugh. I am plus six now, by the way. That's kind of cool. 
but uh, I'm still a sack away. Let's see, is there an opportunity for me of actually recover versus anything of this? No, it's not. And I'm free to save by Brave Burden with Force Skull afterwards, so yeah, we're second this. I'm actually going over Stealth Rocks in case it does something weird. He can also be locked into that. If it's some type of Scarf variant, which would be unfortunate. Is that a risk I want to take? That is actually a real question. The thing is, if he's not Scarfed, then he loses it. So, yeah, I'm Brave Birding here. Plus, the way I send it out, you kind of think I could be Scarfed. And that's not something you want to risk, right? Right? I swear that your Shifu, if it is Scarfed, is probably just winning. Because I would speed everything, or every Scarf I got. I so badly want to see Garchomp come in. He switches out, nice. Um, to Espeon, which... It's dying, right? It is. Unless it's Sash, it's absolutely dying. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, look, it's absolutely dying. Ooh, recall. Okay. Okay. So, who comes in? Speed time with Volcarona. He brings it in again. It has to. It has to be scarfed, right? Nothing on my team want to take these surgeon strikes either. I mean, our seal can take it, but will be screwed over. I gotta level. I gotta do it. If it's scarfed, it's scarfed. Oh, you bastard! You bastard! <laughs> well, at least it wasn't scarfed, or as far as we are aware. Anyway, this choice by the braver should do a whole bunch of damage, but I think I died to recall alone. So I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Oh yes. Almost worth it. <laughs> Freaking recall. Alright. Ha! Didn't get the speed boost. That's actually really great. Can I abuse that is question, however? Because, yeah, everything is quite resisted. Yeah, I'm gonna send in Rainbrand. We do outspeed him at least. It didn't get the speed boost, which is crucial for that recall. As we will be able to actually just dazzling gleam here and get him out of the way. It's not pretty, but it's my best play. And he pretty much wasted his Dynamax, which clearly is something we acknowledge now. It's something that we can do. Also realize that um, Garchomp, if it is a Scar variant, then it is, yeah, like it comes out like a turn after. <sighs> I have to tell myself this is Scarfed. And Earthquake looks to be just about right for me. Do I need this? I mean, yes and no. I'll actually U-turn here just to scout it. Right, so he's not Scarfed. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. I need to tell myself that, because if I don't, then I'm pretty sure I lose. Earthquake is kind of rough, but there is nothing Osmoth can do. It really isn't, so this is a play. See, Earthquake gonna annihilate me uh, yeah there we go <laughs> like pop it's life orb good because I think we kill it with a dazzling gleam which is great for us 
I think we are in the area. If you go over him, I'll probably bring in Volcarona. Yeah, like, why wouldn't you? Dum -dum 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 -dum. Volcarona. Dum -dum 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 Let's see, Gauss crit. Did good damage. So I one more turn off this terrain. So Thunderbolt here. Just to really get so much damage in there as possible. Nice. Quiver dances. So we'll now be able to outspeed. Bug Buzz is. Uh, it. I gotta do it. I need to manage this somehow. And my best bet is to really survive this possible fire blast and then try to wrap it up. And like I said, if he can Dynamax, then I fear I am in the category where so can I. And so should I. Let's see. Fiery Dance. Yeah, we'll take that. Though, I'm pretty sure that would have been able to kill me. And Thunderbolt should kill. Nice. Good. Good. We're in this. We are absolutely in this. Question is... Moltres is kind of annoying. And I need to save this guy. I really cannot risk this. So, with that in mind, I'm actually going to send in Hyper Cruise. Um, oh, he can't. <laughs> ah. You know, really, gold? I really mean this. There was no reason to cancel that. Come on, man. Don't be an ass. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this game, um, that's all I really can say, and uh, I really want to thank everybody who's been involved this week, as it's been really fun with Explode, and getting Finch, for example, another pocket super to be able to use um, Explode because of my showcase, really, really speed the volumes of um, what you guys forces me to create, and also just, it really elevates myself to really, really perform something above anything I've done before. So from the bottom of my heart, really, thank you for supporting me and staying true. You guys are awesome and I'm really looking forward to a week of Crowbat. That's going to be something else. So that's guys. Thanks for watching and have a great one. Take care. Bye.